Thank you for calling Internal Accounting Services. You're speaking to Bhagat. How may I help you? Oh, thank goodness you answered. I'm trying to get this darn old QuickBooks to work, and I can't get it to work. I don't know what I'm doing. Which QuickBook it is? This online QuickBook or a desktop one? Yes. Which one, sir? Desktop. Are you the owner of the account, or your accountant, or board of director? Whom am I speaking with? Oh, I am an accountant. How did you know? No, I'm just asking to you. I'm not sure whether it's the accountant is talking to me or a treasurer or the person who is talking to you. No, 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 sir. I will be helping you to there because there is nothing to do with IT. This is not a computer issue. This is a QuickBook issue. So I have to check it, and I will help you with that. Okay. All right. Great. Before I go ahead, I would like to inform you your call is being recorded for quality and training purpose. I hope it is okay for you. Yes, the call is being recorded. Yes. May I have your first and last name, please? It's James Dayton. James. James, may I have your email address, which is associated yes. with the account? Yep. It's James Dayton mm -hmm. forty two at Juno dot com. Juno.com. May I have your contact number? If we disconnect in between, I can call back. Yes. Or from this number. Oh, they all forward to the same number. I, I, I've got 17 different inbound lines, but they all forward to that one. Okay, then what I do here, I will connect your computer with us. With the help of that, I will check this thing and I will assist you for the QuickBook, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, you go to the computer and then open an uh, internet site that www. Oh, I've, I've got to wait for uh, my computer to turn on. It'll be just a moment. Okay, and you do payroll also, or it's just only for accounting and invoicing? Oh, I, I have to ask my IT person. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't do any accounting on it? Any accounting do you Oh, have I do all of the accounting. The, the checks... The, the the debits, the credits, mm -hmm. I do everything on it. You know, the, the bottom okay, line. Okay. The uh they gotta get out of the red and stay in the green. Don't wanna have that you know, see what happens is is if the liabilities outweigh uh the assets, well then all of a sudden now you are just in the red. You can't have those liabilities outweighing the assets. You've gotta have those assets above those liabilities. Uh so when mm -hmm. I'm doing the debits and the credits you know, I've got to make sure that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, between me and you, don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. You've got to, uh, you've got to make sure the liabilities outweigh, uh, oh, wait, wait mm -hmm. a minute. Reverse that. You've got to wait. You've got to make sure your assets outweigh your liabilities. You see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down there? I do understand that all liabilities think. Oh, so all you I do, do know is... about accounting? Yes, ma'am. Oh, great. Yes. Do you have yes. a degree so in accounting better... too? No, sir. I'm not a I'm not accountant here. I am the technician. As well as, uh, I will check this so that what it is about. As well as, we can help you for reconcile your accounting information. Okay. All right. Now you said to go to some kind of website. Yes. www. dot. All right. Fastconnect. dot us. Fastconnect. dot what? Fastconnect dot U as an umbrella, S as in Sierra. Oh, fast connect us. Yes, please. It's gonna connect us fast. Yes. Well, that's amazing. It says establish support session. Click on download for Windows, the first option. In All it. right. And then what? What comes up? Nothing. I just see that establish support connection. Download for Windows. The option that you have, click on it. All right. And then what? Right. What when you click on Download for Windows, on the bottom on the left, there is a file downloaded under the name of. Oh, Viewer. that's what I was missing. Double click and open it. Oh, okay. I I didn't see that there. How'd you know there, that was uh, there? The, it, we know we are a technician. We knows about the. Uh, account the file when you download in this it shows on the bottom on the left so oh team viewer there. double click and open it yes what's a team viewer it's application 
Oh, it's now it says team viewer license agreement preamble. Please read this team viewer and user license agreement carefully. Well, I guess I should read that carefully then, huh? Uh, master yes. terms, yes. software specific terms. Looks like just a bunch of, uh, you know, terms and details, hardware specific, product specific, uh, data processing agreement. Uh, jurisdiction on, special terms, master terms, formation no, no, no. of Just, contract. I agree. You click on uh, rather than doing fees anything. and prices. Well, no, I don't want to pay for anything. What's the fees and prices? Isn't it free? No, this is the fee. It's asking it's for free. a due it's date and invoicing. Now, I was trying mm -hmm. to get the down to do the QuickBooks for the invoices. Prices, fees, and taxes, price changes. Oh, late payments. It, it details what happens if you, Listen, if see, you hold make on. a late that, payment. That's something you, you don't have uh, to go invoicing through. Invoicing entities. Oh, confidentiality. Now, that's important. Will you listen for it? Got data protection. James, that's important. Uh, Non-personal use. Uh, changes to James, team viewer. Uh, no deviating provisions. I don't know Do what not that make any changes on the It says system. there's no warranties or guarantees either. Uh, severability. Yes, I agree. Uh, uh, it wants to ask me if it can communicate with me via email. Should I say yes to the email? And then it wants some yes, documentation, uh, software yes. specific terms, licenses, uh, I agree. free version, and then test period for trial use, and uh, then the scope listen, of the really license. Listen for I a minute. probably read about the scope of the license. It says for authorized uses. Uh, for overuse by quantity, and then it says prohibited use. Uh, maybe I should use what I'm not allowed to use the software for, like any use of the software or no, you services to, that you is not expressly granted. You don't need to worry about anything. That's How do I get permission from TeamViewer to uh, to use the software? Do I got to write them an email or something? Because it says, in particular, the customer to shall not me, allow lady. a third party to James, attempt to circumvent any you, technical uh, devices you, uh, of the software that are directed you, James, or that have not, the effect of forcing the terms aspect. of the EULA. And uh, Hello? what's the EULA? Will you listen for a minute? Can you hear me? Oh, yes. You said listen for a minute. It has been quite been a minute agree. yet, but I'm still listening. Click on I... I agree. You have I agree option there, which you can oh, click. Oh, well, I'm just reading Without... the terms of service. I mean, I would never you enter to... into a, a contract no, no. or sign anything you, if you I didn't be fully a... understand the terms. Don't you read the terms of service when, whenever you're agreeing to something? How do you know what you're agreeing to? No, no, no. There's no term and condition, nothing like that. You don't have to worry about it. You, yeah, you, you don't it. read things before you sign them? Like when you're entering into a contract? How is, do I know? This one is an absolutely perfect. There is nothing that you have to pay for something. It's a free account information. Oh, I'm not worried about so that. I just like to specifically read everything and understand. I thought it doesn't everybody re read the terms and service no. in depth. Nobody does it like that. So Nobody reads the terms and services in depth. I'm the only one. See, if you want to have any accounting related help, I will be taking care, but you have to make sure that you have to follow our instructions. Okay. That is the only way. That all okay, right, and your instructions is not to read anything. Uh, just do what you say to do. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, I could do that. You said agree. I agree. And what was your I name agree. again? My first name is Bhagat. My last name is Singh. Okay. Well, you know what? If you do a good job, I might hire you to make all my decisions for me every day. If you want to just tell me what to do every day, that would make life a lot easier for me. You can just agree to everything for me and tell me everything. What is the name of your business, sir? Uh, may I have your name of the business? Sure. It's Prestige Worldwide. I'm sorry, what is the business name? So I clicked agree and then something popped up. Is that what's tell supposed to happen? Tell me the business name, please. 